Samsung just dropped One UI 8.5 beta, and people are already saying it looks like Apple's liquid glass. But here's the real question. Is Samsung copying Apple or quietly doing it better? Let's break it down. As we all know, Samsung's One UI 8.5 beta is now live, giving us an early look at the brand's next step in UI design. While some users are quick to compare it with Apple's liquid glass interface, Samsung isn't copying, it's refining. One UI 8.5 brings visual changes that feel modern, polished, and practical. Instead of pushing heavy transparency everywhere, Samsung keeps things subtle. The UI stays clean, readable, and comfortable for daily use, something early liquid glass design struggled with. One of the first changes you'll notice is the new floating back button in Settings and Samsung's first-party apps. This is a big win for one-handed use, especially on large Galaxy phones, making navigation feel more natural and effortless. Samsung has also added floating, rounded navigation bars in apps like the Phone Dialer. These fit perfectly with Galaxy's curved design language and make interactions feel smoother, without being distracting. In the Gallery app, Samsung introduces light transparency effects. Your photos and videos remain the main focus, while the UI adds just enough depth to feel premium, a very balanced and smart approach. Even the Calculator app gets attention this time. The buttons now have a 3D pop effect, making taps feel more responsive and visually satisfying. It's a small change, but it shows how much Samsung cares about the overall user experience. The key takeaway here is simple. Samsung isn't chasing trends blindly. With One UI 8.5, the company takes inspiration where it makes sense and blends it into its own identity, focusing on usability, consistency, and real Galaxy users. Overall, One UI 8.5 feels like a mature evolution, not an experimental redesign. It shows Samsung's confidence in shaping modern UI trends while keeping the Galaxy experience familiar and user-friendly. One UI 8.5 is expected to roll out to Galaxy phones in 2026, likely after the launch of the Galaxy S26 series, and it's currently available in beta for the Galaxy S25 lineup. So now I want to hear from you. Do you like Samsung's new design direction, or do you think it's too Apple-inspired? Drop your honest opinion in the comments, gay. And if this video helped you, hit that like button, subscribe for more Galaxy updates, and share this video with a Samsung fan. As always, I'll see you in the next one.